G'day guys, welcome to part three of the Getting Started with Peel 3D series. Previously in part two, we went through how to extract information from the scan data and transfer that into SolidWorks. And part three, we're going to look at how to use that information within SolidWorks. So previously we extracted some of these entities to be um, or surfaces to be higher than the actual planes that were originally there. So we're now just going to go through and cut these off. So if I was to select this plane here and then go to sketch, I'm going to go and click rectangle sketch. I'm just going to like trace that around that surface and accept that and then exit that sketch. Okay, next we select the next plane we want to draw on, go to sketch, and just trace around that one as well. We can accept that and escape from that. Okay, close that. And we just need to do one more circle on this plane, oh, sorry, rectangle on this plane. And I'll just pull that out a bit further. Oops. Okay, accept that. And then close that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, I can then go ahead and just turn off the visibility of these planes. So I'm just going to right click and just, um, sorry, hide them. Yeah, we'll go plane two, hide. Um, plane one, we can hide. Yep, just hide those. Okay, next I'm going to go to uh, features. And I'm going to do an extrude cut. Select my rectangle. And I'm going to go the opposite direction. And we can then select OK. OK, and you can see here it's perfectly cut off our solid. So then we just repeat the process. Extruded cut, choose your next rectangle, flip the orientation, accept. OK, so that's now cut. Now this next rectangle, um, we might be better off to actually remove the cylinders first before going ahead and extruding it because we will cut off the top of the cylinder essentially. So what we're going to do is we're going to go insert and we're going to go to features and select combine. We're going to select subtract. We're going to use the main body as the auto surface. Bodies to subtract will be the cylinder and the cylinder and then we can select combine. Okay, so those Cylinders have been now removed and we can go and select our extruded cut now, extrude, flip it and then select OK. OK, so that's now been cut off and then we can do our extrusions for the circles. So again, extrude cut, select the circle. Uh, we have to do one at a time, unfortunately, so we'll just um, do that five uh, millimeters. And it's a cut, so it's an extruded cut. I don't think, yeah, no, I can't choose more than one at a time, so we just have to accept that. Cool. Extruded cut. Next one, let's remember the distance this time, which is useful. Accept. And then we do one more extruded cut using this circle. And we've now basically machine cut the, the surfaces, the planes, and 
created new bosses inside of that solid. Um, so our auto surface is much more useful now being true entities built into the surface. So if we go ahead and just turn off the, um, the edges, you can see that it's made a very nice job of, of our part. And after you've finished this part, you can now go and save your model as either an IGIS or STEP file. So let's go a STEP file, for example. We'll go selected body. So I hope that this has been, um, been of use to you guys. Um, the three part series of getting started with the peel3.os software, peel.cad, and how to use scan data in SolidWorks.